Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi Shahli Sadri, wa Yisili Amri, wa Lu Ugdadim Milisani of Kahu Kahuli. Start with the name of Allah, the most Christian, the most merciful. I'd like to introduce myself. First of all, I'd like to welcome my guest with Islamic greeting. Aslam Rakam everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Zain Ali, my qualification is BSSC. So the purpose of being here is to divert your attention toward the main cause we are all being engaged to. That one is generation gap. Before I proceed further, I'd like to thank ELC for giving me the opportunity, especially Ma'am Hira. So, I have divided my topic. My topic contains different categories. First of all, we're going to take a look at what is generation gap, the types, the reasons behind it all, the negative effects, and we're going to sum this up with some conclusion suggestions. What is a generation gap? First of all, we'll take a look at what is generation. All the people born and living at about the same time collectively to protect or something. Now take a look at what is the generation gap. It is a difference between ideas of a younger people and their parents. Or we can say we can one generation to another. Moving on to the types of generations. First one is all you know, traditions. Baby boomers, Gen X, Y, Z. The Gen Z belong to those who born after 2001. The problem of generation gap has been increasing day by day, especially in Pakistan. I know although each generation has its traditional values, but the problem of generation gap has been increasing because the younger generation were following some Western cultures. Previously, there was a time that teachers and teachers and parents were the role model of them, but things had been changed. There was a time when girls, our sisters, daughters, were not liked by some parents as they believed that they belonged to others. This type of mentality should be wiped out in order to the progress of this country. All these youngsters are getting caught in drugs and the activities. Why? Who is responsible for that? A lot of you are going to say that parents are responsible for that, parents are responsible for that. If something happened to your country, government is responsible for that. Aren't you mature enough? Our parents are held responsible for your sins? They commit? No, definitely not. One of the rights of a children, of its parents, is to get a religious education by the thought of halal and haram by his parents <clears throat> even though if they don't they will be responsible for their sins of their children commit now moving on to the reasons why this generation gap occurs is due to difference between ideas turn of voice every time between children and his parent parent lack of awareness of modern area moral life expectation of parents a lot of expectations by the children. As famous James Batlin has said, the distance between you and me is now understandable by me being a parent of two. Moving on to the negative effects, how these things occurs? The negative effects of this due to technology, yeah, the media is, it plays an important life in it. A language, a lack of reading books, most importantly, loneliness. I'm afraid to say that, that we lost our dignity and the sacrifices of our national hero, Elam Iqbal. I would dare to comment that if there was no Elam Iqbal, there would be no Pakistan. The history of Pakistan committed that the Elam Iqbal not only convince Kaidiasm for a separate subcontinent, but also expand the independent concept. I'm afraid to say that the Pakistan has lost his concept of independence. Moving on, we are talking about the suggestions. It doesn't really matter how much I speak today because this extended amount of generation gap has come to its limits. But we are here to solve this problem, right? Now I'm going to put some points in order to understand. 
listen and understand is one of the major point second one remain silent at golden times third one believe me you are not always right at every time the fourth one is communication I need to wrap this all up with recalling Lama Iqbal's poetry which he says with the Urdu words Apne keda par dalga parda ikbal Apne keda par dalga parda ikbal Har shaks keh raha hai ke zamana harab hai Thank you ladies and gentlemen for your attention Peace be with you all